Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, welcome to this Eucharist in which we remember today, especially the memorial of St. Pius of Pietrelcina, oftenly, often more commonly known as Padre Pio. And we come before the Lord thanking him for the gift of this man who was for many somebody who, whom they sought after as a spiritual advisor, a confessor, and an intercessor. He's one of the most popular saints in Italy. And there is also a chapel or a, a little church in Johor. Uh, run by the Capuchins that has his name. We come before the Lord right now, asking that the Lord will forgive us for our sins and that he may lead us in his ways, in his paths. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, you're the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you're the truth who sets us free. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the fullness of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius of Pietrelcina a share in the cross of your son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Every word of God is unalloyed. He is the shield of those who take refuge in him. To his words make no addition, lest he reprove you and know you for a fraud. Two things I beg of you. Do not grudge me them before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Grant me only my share of bread to eat, for fear that surrounded by plenty, I should fall away and say, The Lord, who is the Lord? Or else, in destitution, take to stealing and profane the name of my God. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Your lamp is a lamp for your word is a lamp for my steps, O Lord. Your word is a lamp for my steps, O Lord. Keep me, Lord, from the way of error and teach me your law. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Your word, your word is a lamp Lord. for my steps, O Lord. Your word, O Lord, forever stands firm in the heavens. I turn my feet from evil paths to obey your word. Your word is a lamp for my steps, O Lord. I gain understanding from your precepts, and so I hate false ways. Lies I hate and detest, but your law is my love. Your word is a lamp for my steps, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Through him give thanks to God the Father. Alleluia. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all king devils and to cure diseases. And he set them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither staff, no haversack, no bread, no money. And let none of you take a spare tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there. And when you leave, let it be from there. As for those who do not welcome you, when you leave their town, shake the dust from your feet as a sign to them. So they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing everywhere. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's interesting that in the book of Proverbs today, the second of the Proverbs that we see, says, give me neither poverty nor riches. Grant me only my share of bread to eat. For fear that surrounded by plenty I should fall away, or else in destitution take to stealing. And so he's not asking for great riches, neither does he want to fall to extreme poverty because he wants to keep that relationship with God. And this is it. Sometimes when we have too much, we can begin to forget God. And likewise, poverty in itself is not a virtue because sometimes in our poverty, we can forget God or get very angry with God or worse still, give up on God as well. So we see this in Jesus sending out the 12, asking them to take nothing with them. It's interesting that he doesn't say, take the following things with you. He doesn't give them a checklist to take. And you know, when I'm sent somewhere, you, you probably realize this with me, I carry my notebook all the time, or rather my iPad all the time, because I depend so much on it, because my office prayers are in there, my readings that I preach from are in there, my diary is in there. And if Jesus says, leave that behind and go on your mission, I would be quite 
handicapped in a certain sort of way. But when the Lord says, go without taking anything, he is telling us he will provide. That whatever it is that we haven't got, don't worry. He will provide what he need, we need. Because very often we think that we need so much. But the Lord knows our need rather than our greed. So this, to this loving God we come today, asking for all that we need, asking for our daily bread, all that we really need. And today we pray very specially for people who struggle with the whole issue of daily bread, especially in this post-pandemic times, in this pandemic times. We continue to pray for the people of Sabah as they head towards elections, as well as for political peace and harmony in this country. In the midst of all that is going on, may the Lord reign supreme. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for true goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for true goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed pious of Pietralcina, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, Grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Julian, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Pius of Petrolcina, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray for our own intentions, praying for our daily bread. I invite you also to pray for our priests of this diocese as well as our neighboring dioceses who are on retreat this week. Our Father, who what art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, will have been reigned forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of 
of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our brother, who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and I know me. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and I know me. Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Pius of Pietralcina, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.